greeting from global project control in previous video we talk about how you can create a curve by pivot in this video we want to change this curve to be interactive for this item you need to first create a sheet let me to change it the name interactive scurve then come back to the scurve and right click move the chart to the interactive scurve then over here you have your scurve this is the criteria you can select it according to your requirement or you can go to the page layout and assign it based on your page layout and maybe it is useful if you change it for instance to the standard sizing good for design okay this is my s curve and i need to a little bit modify it okay then you need to select the chart go to the pivot analyze chart and press on insert slicer we have three slicer for the project project include all data Phase include the phase and discipline is focus on project discipline. Let me to add two of them. Then I can use it over here. Like this. And this. Then you have two solution. You can modify your chart like this, or you can keep your chart and arrange the slicer in the above section. But how? You need to a little bit expand your slicer and then right click on it, go to the slicer setting. If you want to modify the caption, you can modify it here. Then go to the size and properties. And on the position and layout, you can select number of columns you want to be arranged. For phase, I need three. Then for discipline, I can arrange it over here like this. Then sort it like this and on the positional layout I can increase the number of columns. Then I have the discipline and phase over here. If you right click on the slicer setting also you can modify your caption and update your data based on your requirement then press ok right now i need to select the slicer go to the slicer setting and use the style after you applied the style to your slicer then You can use your data for instance let me to add a background color like this and then on the print preview you have 
something like this and if you want to use it the data for procurement data for engineering for procurement for discipline electrical discipline mechanical discipline HVAC discipline all the data will be updated based on your requirement in this case you can use your interactive s curve i hope this lesson is useful for you thank you for watching global project control and support us by your subscription i hope this lesson is useful for you please keep in touch with my linkedin youtube instagram and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.